DaVinci Resolve for noobs. If you wanted to add a little bit of motion blur into your zooms or animations from the edit page, let me show you how to do that. Let's say we have some footage here of this motorcycle and maybe we wanted to zoom into it. So I'll place my playhead maybe right about here, go up to the upper right inspector, and I'm going to set a keyframe in the transform option, move the playhead slightly forward, and I'm going to zoom in just slightly like this. Let me turn on the transform option so I can click in the preview window and move it where I want. Now you can see I have two keyframes set in the keyframe tray down below, and maybe we want to smooth that motion out a little bit. We can go up to the keyframe editor window. I'm going to select all of those keyframes by left clicking and holding and drawing a box around them. And then I'm going to go up and choose ease in and ease out. Let me play through. That's a pretty decent smooth zoom in, but it doesn't have any of that natural blurring effect that you might get in camera. Fun fact, the human eye has no ability to zoom in. But if we want to add a little motion blur onto this zoom, let's go up to the effects library. I'm going to make sure I have all folders selected and I'm going to look for zoom blur. Once I found that, let's drag that down onto my clip. And with my keyframe tray still enabled, let me put the playhead right at the first keyframe. You can see this blur already added, but I want to start without any blur. So let me take this value up here and turn it to zero. Now there's no blur whatsoever. Let me set a keyframe. Let me go right to the second keyframe with zero being the value and add a second keyframe there for that zoom blur. But let me pull the playhead back just a little bit, about three quarters of the way between those two keyframes. And let me grab the slider for the zoom amount and just dial it up to get a little bit of blur. I don't want to go over the top, just the right amount of blur. And you can see it automatically sets a keyframe here. Let's just right click on that quickly and choose ease in and out. It'll give it a little smoother bell curve to the top of that keyframe. And now when we play through, you'll see it'll zoom in and have a slight blur to that zoom.